Namaste yogis. Uh, welcome to your afternoon practice. Today's practice is all about gratitude. Um, grateful for the things that uh, make us feel good. Grateful for the things that we take for granted. And for an advanced practice, grateful for the things that challenge us. People, situations, and even within practice, sensation and body. So let's stand on up. Bring your feet about uh, hips distance apart. Roll your heels out just a little bit. Take your hands to heart center. Bend and straighten the knees. And then with nice uh, ease of breath, inhale, arms reach up. Lift the chin, lift the gaze. And then exhale, fold forward. No rush here. Release your arms, tuck your chin and soften. In this forward fold, a little bit of sway from side to side. Bend and straighten the knees to get a sense of the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back. Inhale, come halfway up, flatten your back, lift your chin, lift your chest, or a little bit of space in the spine. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, walk your feet all the way back, plank position, top of a push-up. Then lower your knees down. Lift your feet up off the ground, roll the ankles, wiggle the toes. Rotate the creases of the elbows a little bit forward, and then slowly lower all the way to the floor. Once you get there, squeeze your legs together, point your toes. Press the tops of the feet, hips and hands into the ground. Lift chin and chest for cobra pose. Elbows are nice and close to the ribs. Exhale, lower down, soften. Inhale, come on up to table. Wag the tail a little side to side. Belly drops a little bit. Lift the heart, chin, and chest for cow pose. And then exhale into cat pose. Mm. Let's do that again. Inhale. Belly drops. Lift the heart, chin, and chest. Exhale. Round and squeeze. Nice. Roll over your toes. Lift your knees. Lift your hips. Down dog. If this is your first down dog of the day, keep the knees a little bit bent. Draw the belly towards the thighs and feel the length and extension through the shoulders and the spine. From here, invite one heel towards the earth and then switch it so you feel the length and extension through the calves, the Achilles tendon. So we're just doing a real slow um, variation of sun salutation, a Suri Namaskar A where we salute the sun. It's basically a movement expression of gratitude that we woke up with the sun or the sun woke up with us. Bend the knees, look forward, walk your feet to your hands. Feet a little bit closer this time. Inhale, come halfway up, flatten the back, lift the chin and chest. Exhale, fold forward, release your arms. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Arms reach up, lift the gaze. We're going to continue to move here. Right hand grabs left wrist. Pull up and over as you side bend to the left. Little gaze underneath that left arm. Our sun salutation is that we're grateful that we have uh, access to these bodies. Inhale back to center. Arms reach up. Left hand grabs right wrist. Side bend to the left. Not only do we have access to these bodies, but access to um, this breath for these sensations, access to this day to walk on this planet, and experience everything we possibly can. Back to center, arms reach up, lift the gaze. Maybe a little back bend if you feel like you need it. Exhale, fold forward. Release your arms, tuck your chin. Inhale, halfway up, flatten the back, lift the chin and chest. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, walk your feet all the way back. You can do the same thing that we did last time, knees, floor, cobra. But if you need more within your practice, you can lower just a little bit down for up dog or through a chaturanga dindasana. And then once again, you can pause in table pose for a round of cat cow or you can find your way to down dog. So modifications are always available, and we're grateful for that in our practice, that we can modify in a way that supports the body because our bodies change literally breath by breath, moment by moment. So we may have some different needs today than we did yesterday, and 
different needs tomorrow than we have today. One more big inhale, slow exhale. Ah. And then come onto the toes, bend the knees, walk, step or float feet to hands. Inhaling, coming halfway up, flattening the back. Exhale, folding, tucking the chin. Inhale, coming all the way up, arms reach up. Lift the chin, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's pause here. Left hand to heart, right hand to belly, tuck the chin. Grateful for this breath, grateful for the sensation, grateful for this moment. Hmm. Grateful for the wisdom that we have to pause, to reflect, and to digest where we are. All right. Hands to heart center. Bend the knees, drop the seat. Utkatasana, seated chair pose. Keep in mind that all these asanas, you are self-regulating in a way that gives you sensation, but um, manageable, right? Enjoyable even, if you can manage that. Inhale, straighten the knees, extend your arms up, lift the gaze. Exhale, fold forward, tuck the chin, release the head and soften. Inhale, come halfway up, flatten and lengthen. This time, just bend the knees, plant the hands, left foot steps back, Swivel that back foot, warrior one, come on up, arms reach up. Bend and straighten that right knee, grateful for modifications. <laughs> Bend the elbows, hands and elbows draw back, lift the heart, chin and chest. Grateful for the limitation of our body to know where our edges are. Interlace the fingers behind your back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, straighten the elbows, hinge a little bit at the waist so the belly hovers over that right thigh. Relax the jaw and soften and still hold the pose. Nice, gently lift the torso up, release your arms, stretch them up nice and tall, subtle back bend if you need it. Exhale, hands come all the way down and plant, right foot steps back. It's yogi's choice again. So, knees, floor, cobra, or halfway down through chaturanga dindasana, or you could always skip it, go right into down dog if you feel like you need that. Child's pose is there if you need that. So find the movement, find the stillness that works for you today. Keep in mind, this practice is not a Simon Says practice. It's not like you're doing whatever I say. These movements are suggestions in a way that allow you to tap into the intimacy of the body. Big inhale, slow exhale. All right, walk, step, or float feet to hands. Inhaling halfway up as you flatten. Exhale as you fold. Bend the knees, drop the seat, sweep your arms up. Ut Katasana, seated chair pose. Straighten the knees, hands to heart center, soften. Let's just do the other side. Bend the knees, drop the seat. Ut Katasana. Hmm. Inhale, straighten the knees, extend your arms up. Back bend if it's there. Fold forward, no rush. Release your arms, tuck your chin. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, right foot steps back, warrior one, other side. Arms reach up. Bend and straighten the left knee to get a sense of your stability of your legs. And then elbows bend. Hands and elbows draw back as we open up through the heart. I'm grateful for our unbounding loving compassion. Mm. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Maybe the opposite thumb comes on top. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Straighten the elbows. Lift the heart. Hinge a little bit at the waist so the belly hovers over that left thigh. Mm. Feel the power of the legs. Grateful for my feet that support me all day long. These... Uh, subtleties of things that we take for granted in the body. Inhale, lift the torso up, release your arms, stretch the arms up nice and tall. Exhale, hands come all the way down and plant. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, halfway up, flatten and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, drop the seat, Utkatasana. Straighten the knees, hands to heart center. Rotate the palms towards the front of the mat. 
Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Press right foot, left foot like you're marching, a little wag of the tail. Relax the jaw, and we move with gratitude. Hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Right hand grabs the left wrist. Exhale, side bend to the right. Little gaze underneath the left arm. Nice. Inhale back to center. Left hand grabs right wrist. Exhale, side bend to the left. Mm. Inhale back to center. Subtle back bend if you need it. Exhale, fold forward. Release your arms. Tuck your chin. Soften. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant. Walk, step, or float. Yogi's choice again through Chaturanga or maybe Yogi push-up if you need it. We're going to end up in down dog or child's pose if you need a break. Big toes come together in down dog. Right heel towards the ceiling. Roll the ankle, wiggle the toes, flex the foot. Right knee comes to right arm, grateful for the power of our body. Inhale, send it all the way back up. Exhale, right knee towards left elbow, grateful for the mobility of our bodies. Inhale, send it up. Right knee towards the belly chest, right foot steps forward. Stay on your left toes, reach your arms all the way up, crescent warrior. Ribs and belly drawn, tuck the tailbone. Maybe get a little bit in that left hip flexor. All right. Grateful for my <laughs> tight hip flexors. Let's me know where my edge is at. <laughs> Twist to the right. Open up your arms. Look for your right thumb. I'm grateful for my balance or the lack thereof. <laughs> Take the right hand on the hip or behind the back. Right arm reaches up or over that left ear. Oh, yeah. Mmm. On your exhalation, you're going to swim both hands down on the inside of your right foot and then swivel your back foot to ground down. Crab walk your hands all the way back to the back of your mat as you bend your left knee and lower that left hip. You come onto your right heel so the right toes are straight on up. And if you're feeling like you need more sensation in that right groin or right hamstring, just lean a little bit towards that right leg. If you want a little bit more variation of a twist, plant the left hand down, push the left elbow inside the left knee, and reach that right arm up. Roll that right wrist, wiggle the fingers, pulse the hand, and then bring the right hand down. <clears throat> now as gracefully as you can, we're going to go to warrior two to the front of your mat. So your right knee is going to bend, your arms open up, and you'll swivel the palms up and down, and then take your left arm, the back arm, underneath the right arm, and either stack your arms or come into eagle arms, left hand grabs right wrist or palm. Elbows are up, shoulders are down. Hands come a little bit away from the face. And then just get a sense of the legs. So that right knee has a tendency to drop in a little, so you're going to press it out towards right pinky toe. Tuck the tailbone, draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. And bring your awareness to um, one material possession that you're grateful for. There's this kind of discussion of like us yogis can't enjoy material possessions and it's not the enjoyment of the material possessions, it's the attachment that becomes the problem or the identification that the material possession makes me something that I'm not, right? But you can still be grateful for it, right? I'm grateful for this sweet gong that I have, it's awesome. Nice, unwind your arms back to warrior two. Swivel your palms up and down, and then ease yourself into reverse warrior. So right arm reaches up and over. Sink a little bit more into that right knee as you breathe space into the right ribs. And on your exhalation, take your right forearm to your right knee. Swivel your right palm up. Take your left hand and reach it up towards the ceiling. Swivel your palm towards the front of your uh, the front of the room and then extend that left arm over that left ear So you're nice and long through the left side body as you draw your left shoulder and left elbow And left hip back that right knee again starts to drop in so invite that out This is gonna be a little bit more open through the pelvis and then look down to your right big toe Grateful for your toenails and <laughs> maybe a nice pedicure is needed <laughs> hands come down 
step your right foot back. Yogi's choice again through Chaturanga. You can do a few push-ups if you want power, or maybe child's pose if you need that. Down dog, when you're ready, we're just gonna take care of the other side. So the big toes come a little bit closer together. The left heel lifts up towards the ceiling. On your exhalation, left knee towards left arm. Inhale, send it all the way back up. At your own pace, left knee underneath the body to the right arm. Send it all the way back up. Left knee towards belly, chest, and step it forward. Stay on your right toes, arms reach up. Soften as you hold the pose, right? So shoulders down and away from the ears. The hands are awake but not rigid. You're tucking the tailbone. You can feel then that right hip flexor. And then you're just gonna ease with a twist to the left. Arms open up, look for that left thumb. Mm. And then left hand either on the hip or behind the back. Right arm can reach up or it can slide over that right ear. And once again, you can twist and bend and sink as deep as you would like in any one of these poses. So if today's practice about gratitude is like, I'm grateful that I can modify my practice in a way that's super gentle, do it. Or if you're in a practice that says, uh, I need a lot, you got it. Exhale, both hands down inside your left foot. Swiveling ground down your right foot, and then crab walk your hands all the way back. I'm gonna rotate. Same option, stay on your left heel, uh, torso towards left leg, or maybe a little bit of a twist, so right hand down. Twist and open, left arm reaches up. Mm. Big inhale, slow exhale. Mm. So the transition as the left hand comes down is to warrior two to the front of your mat. So you're gonna bend this left knee. Whoa, you're gonna open them up. Ah, I, I like that transition on one side and the other side super hard. <laughs> it's interesting. Take this right arm underneath the left arm, either stack the arms or eagle arms. So we're creating space in between the shoulder blades. Elbows are up, shoulders are down. If you have the hands, they draw away from the face. Bring your awareness to the legs, make sure you're stable. Left knee is pressing out towards left pinky toe. Right hip, right shoulder draws back. Soften the toes, maybe squeeze the ankles towards one another. And maybe bring your awareness to um, one physical part of your body that you're grateful for. Right? And this is not about ego, this is about appreciation. Like you could say to yourself like, I'm so grateful for my ears, they're amazing, right? Or my white teeth, or my strength of my legs, or whatever you're like, really like, I'm so happy I have this body. Unwind your arms, open them up nice and tall, or nice and wide, <laughs> could be tall. Swivel your palms up and down, move the shoulders a bit. Reverse war, your right hand on the hip, down the leg or behind the back. Left arm reaches up and over. The more you reach with your left arm, the more you sink low into the left knee. Right, so we, in, in gratitude practice, we try to come up with the things that we take for granted too, right? Like I'm grateful for my cardio, cardiovascular system works so efficiently without me even doing anything, right? My digestive system, they work so well. Left forearm to left knee. Right hand could be on the hip, could be up to the sky. You can even slide it over that right ear. So extended side angle. So the right side body is rolling back. The left knee is pressing out. We're trying to get a little bit of space within the heart and the pelvis. Mm. Awesome. Look down to that left big toe. I'm grateful for my other toes. <laughs> Hands down. Left foot steps back. Either right into down dog or if you feel like you need a little bit of movement, go right ahead. Chaturanga or knees, floor, cobra. When you're ready, we're just gonna do pigeon right side. So lift the right leg up. You can bend open and stack if it feels like it's good for you today. And then right shin comes forward. Right foot is in alignment with left leg. Point your left toes. These two hip bones in the front are square to the floor. If there's any problems or sensations in this front knee, 
slide something underneath the hip or the, the glute. Lower the elbows down, soften the torso down. In this pose, we stay a little bit longer to get to the connective tissue and oftentimes this um, sensation is a little intense. So I'm gonna utilize it to do our advanced gratitude practice. Um, grateful for uh, a situation that you have had maybe recently or within the next last couple months that is really challenging. And um, with the current condition of the world and all the things going on, probably isn't too hard to figure out, wow, this, this thing was hard. And then can you find some gratitude in that? Like I'm, I'm grateful for the current condition of the world because it allows me to have appreciation for the connection that I have, the appreciation of my resilience the appreciation for the uh, levels of detail that I need to get through the day. So if you can find some gratitude in the struggle, knowing that that is there for our um, healing, our um, expansion, our understanding, and then um, that gratitude practice will, will go a really long way. All right, hands under shoulders, lift yourself on up, roll over your left toes, lift your left knee, right leg steps back, down dog, a little bit of movement. Take your time here so you can kind of get a sense of that sensation when you're ready. Left leg lifts on up, you can bend open and stack if you need it. Mm. And then left shin comes forward for pigeon left side. Keep in mind, right side, left side, probably different. So make your adjustments. First hip bone square to the floor. Nice big angle of that left shin to make sure that your, your alignment's good. And then when you're ready, you can kind of scoot it forward to get the sensation that works for you today. And then elbows down, maybe torso down. Let's go for one more um, challenging gratitude. Think about a person that um, either you don't get along with or a person that irritates you or angers you. And then the hard part, a little bit of gratitude for that person. For that person gives me insight of my own limitation. Because we have to keep in mind that when someone is making us feel a certain way, it's not them. Although, you know, they may, not be, they may not be very nice, but there are certain people that irk us in certain ways, and that's our issue. So our teachers are the people that press those buttons. And if we can be grateful for them, then we could see their, um, their position in our life is essential. So at the end of the day, it's like, well, thank you so much for being an ass. <laughs> I'm learning so much about myself. I appreciate you. If you can get there, I'm not there. <laughs> but I, I, you could try. You can try to get there. And if you can remember that, then it's like, it, it's life changing. Literally life changing. Hands under shoulders, gently lift yourself up. This time, roll to your left hip. Sweep your right leg around. Bring the soles of the feet together. Hands grab the feet, ankles, shins, belly button towards the heels, hinge forward. A little massage of the feet. I'm grateful for my toes, my feet, my ankles, my legs. Mm. Grateful for this sensation, even though the groins may be a little bit tight. Mmm. Grateful for this practice. Maybe grateful for um, your internal processes. Like I'm grateful for my humor, my, um, my intellect, my wisdom, my loving compassion. And, and once again, this is not, and none of this stuff is about ego. It's about um, being grateful for the gifts that we have. 
<clears throat> All right, inhale, come on up. Help your knees up. So hands on the outsides of the legs, lift the knees up, bring your feet to the floor, take your hands behind you, and then just windshield wiper your legs side to side. <sighs> Slowly find your way to your back. Draw your knees towards your belly chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then slide your hands in between the legs as you grab the shins, the ankles, or the bottoms of the feet. Happy baby. Slide those ankles up over the knees. Separate the feet nice and wide. Draw the knees down towards the floor as you rock a little side to side. I'm grateful for the ability to laugh, to cry, to have the whole gamut of emotions available to me that I can let them just rise and fall with my breath and with each moment. Mm. Awesome work. Last resting pose, heels towards the corners of your mat. Externally rotate your thighs, let your feet fall open. If you're still feeling like your nervous system needs attention, left hand to heart, right hand to belly, give yourself a few belly breaths. So you're inhaling, expanding through the belly, exhalation, belly drops. If your nervous system is um, pretty balanced, you can swivel your palms up by your side body and then draw your chin toward your chest and relax your jaw. Close your eyes. Big inhale through your nose, exhale out your mouth. One thing that you're grateful for that this planet offers you. The, the simple things, air, water, the food it produces, the smells, the sights, sounds. the way it houses our bodies, nurtures our bodies, the range of seasons. Grateful for our energetic pattern that is connected to not only this planet, but to the, all the stars in the universe. Grateful for our resilience and our power. I'm grateful to pause and rest. The jaw softens, fingers and toes soften. If you have time and space to stay in the Shavasana for another five or even ten minutes, please give yourself that. If the rest of your day is waiting for you, slowly allow the breath to deepen and start to awaken the body by wiggling the fingers and toes, rolling the wrists and ankles, and gently rocking your head from side to side. Extend your arms up over your head, stretch from your fingers all the way down to your toes. On the exhalation, draw the knees towards the belly as you wrap your arms around the legs. Give yourself a little squeeze. <sighs> right arm reaches up over your head, roll to your right side. Give yourself a moment here. Grateful for yourself. Everything that is um, good, everything that is a challenge, everything that we are working on, our shortcomings, our beauty and strength. Grateful for the entire package. Pressing the hands into the floor, bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. <clears throat> take the hands to the knees or the thighs get a nice long spine and just start to draw your right ear towards your right shoulder 
Big inhale, slow exhale. Roll your head back, lift your chin up, wag your jaw, release any stress and tension within the neck and throat. And left ear, left shoulder. Mm. And roll the chin towards the chest. Hands come together, thumbs towards the heart as you gaze the finger over the fingertips. Take a nice big inhale through your nose, exhale out your mouth. <sighs> the divine spark in me sees, honors, and is grateful for that the same divine spark in you. Thank you so much for sharing your practice, your presence, your power. Keep up the good work. Namaste. Mm-hmm.